The French Alps are a pristine mountain environment, but one that locals fear is being ruined, and there is a growing resistance to the growing numbers of tourists. The White Brigade Mountain Patrol monitor all the climbers, checking they have the right equipment and are booked in at the different shelter refuges further up the peak. It's still dirty at the refuge, around the refuge. People doesn't care about the environment. And we are in 2020. Please, please help us to keep this place clean. It's a legacy for our children. Up to 30,000 people attempt to summit Mont Blanc every year, and they leave behind both plastic and organic waste. Jean-Marc Payex is the mayor of Saint-Gervais, the town where many people start their ascent of the mountain. If you drop a sardine tin or a Coke can, some people will say it's not a big deal because you can't really see it. But the mountain is being contaminated. Our natural water supply is being polluted. People are used to others picking up after them, but in the mountains there's no trash collection or sewage system. They don't have a mindset in harmony with our natural environment. Tourism powers Chamonix and the surrounding area, but littering, path erosion and overuse of water and energy is wearing down locals' appetite for mass tourism. The issue that the tourism industry faces in these mountains is that they need the flow of visitors to sustain the sector, but more people bring more problems and increased pressures on the environment. The cable cars in the Chamonix Valley ferry visitors up the mountainsides to hike and trail run or get an eagle eye view out paragliding. And there's so much on offer, I mean, just look around. Ollie Alkema works for a mountain guiding company. He says there needs to be change towards more sustainable tourism within the industry. Let's look at the, how we power the valley, um, solar, solar power, etc., and then the, the transport itself. Um, Let's have a public transport that everyone can use um, and everyone can, can rely on so they don't have to drive. It will take now a, a huge effort from, from all the companies and all the, all the residents to really step up and, and protect, protect the environment that, that we call our playground. The Alpine residents are protective of this land, hoping that tourists' lasting effects here are only positive leaving behind just their footsteps and not a more detrimental legacy. Ross Cullen, CGTN in the French Alps.